In this video, I'll show you an easy way to set up a paywall in WooCommerce. Okay, so before we get started, let's have a look at a few examples of how to actually implement a paywall on your WooCommerce store. But with this example here, they will show you the product, but to be able to purchase the product, they're prompting you to sign up for a membership to be able to view all the different products, wholesale products that they've got and then you'll be able to purchase it as well. It's a similar situation with Forbes.com. So I was just reading this article here and then here I was hit with this pop-up prompting me to subscribe for a membership, right? What we're going to do in this video is we're going to create a similar situation. So for example, this is a article which I've created, right? And since I'm logged in as a member, I can see this page in full. I've also created a similar setup with a product page. Okay, and I'll show you both these examples now. So let's just copy the link to this page and let's view this page as a non-member and we'll see a similar notification. We can customize this message here as well. Here we're prompting them to either sign up to this membership plan or this one to be able to gain access, right? And we can also view our membership plan page as well. Okay, so we can tailor this and then the user can sign up for whichever plan they want. You can put up a paywall to certain um, blog posts, to certain pages, to certain directories and so on. So now I'll quickly show you the product example. So if we view this product here, we've got a notice letting us know that we need to purchase a membership, right? To be able to purchase this product. And if we wanted as well, we could hide the price. We could even hide the entire site, right? We could put the entire site behind a paywall and then prompt the users to sign up to be able to get access to whatever it is we want to restrict from them. All right, so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovop.com. Go ahead and download the AOVOP Memberships plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've installed the AOVOP Memberships plugin, the first step is to go ahead and create our Memberships plan. And then we'll choose which product or content type we want to restrict. And then finally, we'll go ahead and maybe create a pricing table. So first, let's create our Membership plans. So we'll head over to AOVOP and then we'll navigate over to Memberships. Okay, and then we'll navigate over to Membership plans. All right, and then in your case, you'll just click Add New Membership Plan. All right, so I'm going to edit one of these ones, which I've already created beforehand. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and name your membership tier. All right, so this is our starter plan. Okay, we can ignore the slug and then we get to choose how um, users will be able to get access to this particular membership. So we can set it to manually assign only, meaning the only way someone can have access to this membership is if we manually assign this membership to them. We can allow the users to choose upon registration or we can activate it when they purchase a particular product, which which is what we'll be covering throughout this video. All right, so here we just choose the product that they need to purchase to automatically be able to have access to this particular membership plan. So to do this, all we need to do is just head over to products and then add new, and then we'll create a new product which a customer needs to purchase. So I'm just gonna edit our starter membership. So let's click on it. If you're familiar with WooCommerce, it's just a standard product setup, right? So we just add the name of the membership plan. So this is our starter membership, right? We can add a featured image and then essentially we'll just add the pricing. So depending on which package you chose, when you downloaded the AOV Up membership plugin, you might have access to subscriptions as well, right? So in this case, this membership is actually a subscription, but if you wanted, you could just change this to simple product, meaning it's just a one-time purchase, right? However, in my case, I've set this to simple membership, right? And then here we're just charging $49 every month. And we're also offering a seven day free trial as well. If you wanted to do something like a $1 free trial, we'll just enable this option. And then here where it says sign up fee, we can say $1 and then we can say something like no risk trial, right? And let's quickly save this and I'll show you how it looks on the front end. So let's view this product. All right, so now it says that they pay $49 every month with a seven day $1 risk free trial. Let's head back over to our membership plan. Right. So assuming you've created your product that the customer needs to purchase to have access to this membership plan, we just go ahead and search for it here. Right. So let's just remove this. We'll just search that particular product which we just created. 
and then select it. Okay, so for the membership duration, since this particular product is a subscription product, I want to tie the membership length to the subscription. So it means once the subscription is expired, then their membership will expire as well. So this is why we put unlimited here. If you're not implementing a subscription style system, then you might want to specify the length or some fixed date, right? As I said, a membership will be tied to this product subscription here. OK, so then we scroll down and then we'll get to add our rules. So we just click add new rule here. And then from here, so we get to choose which post page or post type that this particular membership gets access to right so for example if we select post here then we can say i don't think i've got many posts here but there should be a hello world post so here we basically get to specify which content that this membership gets access to and then essentially anyone that tries to visit this particular post they'll see a notice letting them know that they need to become a member of our starter plan to be able to view that post right and we'll automatically pull in any custom post types you've got and then you can specify the content here so for categories as well or tags we can assign it to this membership so i'll show you later on how to restrict parts of a particular post or page. So here you just go ahead and configure the rule to meet your specific requirement. All right. And then underneath here, we get to choose which product or products category we want to restrict. Later on, this section will most likely be merged into one, right? So from here, we'll be able to select post types or even products. OK, so for example, we can say products. And then this custom hoodie product, it's only purchasable for users that have this particular membership. Right? Or we can say only members within this membership plan can view this product, meaning anyone else that doesn't have this membership plan won't be able to view this product. All right. And then we get to navigate down to discounts so we can automatically add discounts to a particular product or categories so we can say everyone who have this particular membership will get x amount of percentage or fixed dollar amount of certain product categories or products all right so i'm just going to delete this okay and then for the membership area we get to customize what information we want to display there so we can show them the exclusive content that they've got access to and it's a similar situation with the products as well so any exclusive products that they've got access to we can list it in their membership tab and we can show them what discounts they've got access to as well and any notes so if you want to add a certain announcements and so on they'll see it in the notes section and manage they've got the option to manage their membership email content here we get to customize our email notification for example when a membership's ending soon when it's ended or renewal reminders All right so once you're happy with everything just go ahead and hit update OK, and then we'll head back over to memberships plan and then you basically just repeat the steps, right? Once you've created your plan, just head over to settings and then we want to fine tune certain functionality of our paywall, right? For example, content restriction. Here is set to hide content only, meaning it will show in the archive pages. But once the user view that content, they'll see an upgrade notice, right? Or we can set it to hide completely, meaning they won't be able to see it at all, right? And it will be hidden from search engine as well. Or we can actually set it to redirect to a particular page. So we can set it to redirect to our plans page where we're prompting them to purchase a membership, right? Okay, and then we can specify the redirect page here. We can show the excerpts. I personally recommend this so we can set a default word count. Right, so all the pages or products that you've restricted will automatically show the excerpt. Essentially, you can just go through and fine tune this, right? Same with the messaging. So for the upgrade message, we can go ahead and configure it here. But I'll leave it to you to go through and fine tune, right? OK, so now that we've got our basic membership plan set up, let's go ahead and have a look at how you'd actually create a paywall or specific content right so i'm going to head over to our website and i'm going to click on this page here which i've created all right and i'm going to edit it to show you how i've actually restricted this particular page so this is how members will view this page right so members will be able to view the full content however if a non-member tries to view this page this is what they'll see so they can see parts of the page and then here they've got this notice to either purchase our starter membership or the pro membership so let's x this off let's edit this page and i'll show you how to do okay so to restrict the entire page we can just scroll down here and then we can just click add new rule 
and then we can select the membership that they need to have to be able to access this particular page right so this is how we just restrict the entire page or if you wanted to restrict parts of the page we would we can just click add new block here and then we'll scroll down to where it says memberships right and then here we'll say members content right and then we can just drag and drop it and then essentially anything we want to protect we'll just add it within this block here okay and then it will be restricted to anyone that doesn't have the memberships that we specified i've already got a membership block here right so this is our membership block and when we click on it over here you can see membership plan and then we get to choose which membership have access to this particular restricted area here we can add delay access so once they actually purchase these plans here we can delay access to viewing this content and this is great for example if you offer a trial then maybe during the trial period, they don't get access to all the content. We might drip access to certain pages, certain content types over time. And then maybe once the trial's expired, then they'll get access to the entire thing, right? So this is a great feature if you don't want users to sign up for a trial, consume everything, and then just cancel the trial. For the restriction message, here we can use, well, we can have no message or we can use the default one that we set in our general settings area or we can add a custom message like what I'm doing here, right? And then we've got some dynamic short codes here. For example, we can automatically link to the product that they need to purchase to have access to this um, restricted content. Or if you've created a hands page like we have, we can just say something like sign up here or something like that or choose a membership right and then just link to our plans page all right so once you're happy with everything just go ahead and save changes and then you'll have your paywall implemented okay so now let's have a quick look at our plans page here i just created a basic pricing table so let's edit and then we'll have a look what's going on all right so all we're doing is for the sign up button we're just linking them directly to the checkout page with the products that they need to purchase preloaded in the checkout, right? And I've just added my links here. So to add these signup links, all I've done is let's head over to our dashboard. We'll navigate over to the AOV up all-in-one checkout, right? And I've essentially just created a buy button here. So you can just click create link, then you'll search for the product that they need to purchase to have access to the membership, right? So for example, our starter product, we can just add it there and then we'll rename this. We'll just say starter two, right? Starter and two. So I'm adding number two because I've already done this step. And then we'll just hit save. Once you've saved it, you'll get this unique link here that will take users directly over to the checkout page with the product preloaded in their checkout. All right, so let's test this out. Let's open up a new window. I'll just paste in our link okay and then here it's taking us directly over to the checkout page with our membership preloaded okay so for the checkout design as well this is powered by the all-in-one checkout plugin so i'll leave a link on screen to a video showing you how to customize the checkout like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box